So I'm looking for some help with this problem I'm having. You might be having the same problem or had it before. You cannot find Ryobi 24 volt lithium ion batteries like this brand new anywhere. They are no longer making them. So I called Batteries Plus. They don't rebuild supposedly lithium ion batteries. I thought maybe they could rebuild it for me, but they don't. So what I'm currently looking for is some type of adapter or a battery that will work in its place. I have not been able to find an adapter for it yet, um, or I might have to make something. This is an adapter that I use on a different, on an 18 volt Ryobi cordless that I have. I bought that upper adapter there on Amazon. It was an easy find for like $15 and was able to use my DeWalt batteries with it. So um, I'm looking for some type of adapter that will work with this. to um, whatever other kind of decent battery I can find. Now the problem with all these tools is that you, you get them and they all have to have individual batteries, individual chargers, and uh, all expensive stuff. So we're tr I'm trying to find a way to use, to interchange uh, different batteries with different systems. Um, even with this, I think would be nice, what would be nice is some type of battery, larger battery that maybe you can clip on a a belt with two wires attaching somewhere to here or clipping into here with some type of adapter and uh, you can trim away. That's what I'm hoping for. But if anybody has any ideas, if they've come up with something, I'd appreciate it. If you can put a comment in the link, maybe help out somebody else who's running into the same problem. Uh, it's, I've even called Ryobi and they're, they're uh, like, oh no, we don't make those batteries anymore. Good luck. You know, not good. So, looking for some help. These are the parameters, or the numbers and stuff. And maybe you've come up with something. If you can, if you have, please let me know. Please uh, put it in the comment section, and maybe somebody else will find it helpful as well. Thanks, guys. So, by going through some YouTube videos and some Google searching, uh, the comment section with this problem, I was able to find, um, somebody said that Ryobi and Rigid are the same parent company. And a 24-volt Ryobi adapter might come really close to fitting, uh, a 24-volt Rigid adapter might come really close to fitting the Ryobi or matching it. And I ordered them from Amazon. They were about $20 a piece, this orange and black one in the top. And... Uh, just figuring out which one I'm going to use or going to, I'm going to have to make some slight alterations to it. So here's the original Ryobi battery. Um, there's a template I cut or made from it. Uh, you can see there's this notch, the notch at number one and the, um, the spot where the locking mechanism is and number one as well, the lower section are different. There's no notch in this and the lock is in the wrong spot, no notch. I will figure out which one of these I'm going to use. I'm going to put the notch in, and then I'll probably put a different notch on the Ryobi hedge trimmer. Maybe cut a little notch in here for the locking mechanism with the Dremel. But I'm going to give it a shot. I think it's going to work. It looks like they match up pretty well. Um, the DeWalt side of it matches up really well, the DeWalt side of the adapter. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, I'm now all set. I... Use the rigid adapter. I adapted it. I cut into it, put the notch into it right there. Turn it into a Ryobi adapter, a Ryobi 24 volt adapter. And it fits on really good. I uh, used a small Dremel and a drill bit, a small drill bit to cut out the, to drill out the corner so I didn't overdo it. Um, I also cut a notch here for the locking mechanism. They didn't line up. Um, I used a template to figure it out. I cut a notch here and it seems to fit really well. I chose this black one because it has a small lip around it. The orange one did not. The orange adapter did not. I like the fit of this one better. Um, I had to play around with it once I cut it and um, I got it to fit really good. It's nice and solid. It's maybe a little too tight. I could probably have made it a little looser, but I don't want to mess with it. I think it'll wear in. It's a nice solid bite and um, the batteries are working. I think a 24 volt would work better, uh, but for now I could use my DeWalt's and try it out. 
and if it turns out I want to change to a 24 volt, if I really like the hedge trimmer that much, I'll buy some 24 volt batteries, buy whatever corresponding adapter um, that I figure out I need, and I can work from there. Also, if I did want to make a wire system, it'd be much easier to work with this than it would be to make my own. I could, you know, use, looking at the other videos that I posted below in the comments section from a couple of other guys that I learned from, um, from their videos, uh, you might find them helpful. So go into the comments section, check them out, see what you think. I hope you guys have uh, good luck and with, with setting up this 24, 24 volt hedge trimmer, your 24 volt Ryobi stuff and putting them back into use rather than throwing them into a, uh, into a dumpster pile. Not good.